Your Excellency, President William Ruto, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Your Excellency, Aja Bangeol Bank Group President, AIDA representatives of other regions, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to begin by thanking our host, my brother, President Ruto. As we gather today, our shared vision for prosperous, equitable, and sustainable future hinges upon our ability to address the pressing challenges faced by countries across the continent, while also harnessing the immense potential of its youth population. Allow me to shed light on the state of affairs in Ethiopia, a nation that has been harnessing resilience in the face of a spectrum of challenges aggravated by external forces such as climate change, pandemic, geopolitical tension, and the soaring global cost of living. First and foremost, the Ethiopian government has navigated structural macroeconomic reforms amid challenges focusing around attention on macrofinancial stability, productivity enhancement, and favorable investment climate. Second, and central to our collective aspirations for a peaceful continent, we must foster dialogue and reconciliation. In late 2021, Ethiopia formed the National Dialogue Commission to lead inclusive talks independently tackling ongoing conflicts with wide public thus far had consultative dialogue involving tens of thousands of stakeholders over two years. Regional dialogue are eminent, aiming to, to expand participation further. Third, like many AIDA countries, Ethiopia faces unemployment and a skill, skill gap challenge, with the government prioritizing accessible education to empower citizens while encouraging youth engagement in startups across various fields. Investment in skills and education is central to Ethiopia's 10-year development plan with a focus on sectors like agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism expected to cover over 2 million new jobs. Fourth, universal in energy access stands as a cornerstone for sustainable development. As it stands currently, half of our population is still without access to reliable electricity. We are massively investing on clean and renewable energy generation projects, which aims to accelerate universal access to, av to affordable and reliable energy for all our people. Despite possessing over 60,000 megawatt potential from our diverse renewable energy sources, realizing this capacity demands substantial investment. Fifth, the digitalization of economies holds immense potential to enhance connectivity, spur innovation, and expand access to essential services. In Ethiopia, our telecom sector liberalization, mobile money, and digital payment system have expanded financial access in Ethiopia. The National Digital ID program we have launched is also a crucial step towards our digital transformation. 
greatly improving public service access. Lastly, as stewards of our planet, we must prioritize efforts to build a livable future for all. The Horn of Africa faces escalating threats from climate change, including rising temperatures, food insecurity, and extreme weather events. Ethiopia is actively countering these challenges through its Green Legacy Initiative, prioritizing afforestation, reforestation, and environmental conservation. With over 32.5 billion seedlings planted towards us, a goal of 50 billion over two phases. Ethiopia aligns with global agreements like the Paris Climate Change Agreement and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Excellencies, while the International Development Association's existing support must be commended, the sheer scale for challenges many African countries face necessitate a renewed approach. With 120 million people, Ethiopia has great potential for prosperity. Yet, as a key recipient of AIDA support in Africa, Ethiopia faces a significant financing shortfall that may hinder its progress. Meeting the goals of AIDA 21, replenishment is vital to accessing essential development funds and driving Ethiopia toward its maximum potential. We urge AIDA to significantly enhance its financial capacity and funding models, specifically increased support for crisis preparedness, response, and recovery is essential. I thank you.